Chapter 36 Bezalel, Oholiab, and the other craftsmen whom the Lord has gifted with wisdom, skill, and intelligence will construct and furnish the tabernacle just as the Lord has commanded. So Moses told Bezalel and Oholiab to begin the work, along with all those who were specially gifted by the Lord. Moses gave them the materials donated by the people for the completion of the sanctuary. Additional gifts were brought each morning, but finally the craftsmen left their work to meet with Moses. We have more than enough materials on hand now to complete the job the Lord has given us to do, they exclaimed. So Moses gave the command, and this message was sent throughout the camp, Bring no more materials. You have already given more than enough. So the people stopped bringing their offerings. Their contributions were more than enough to complete the whole project. The skilled weavers first made ten sheets from fine linen. One of the craftsmen then embroidered blue, purple, and scarlet cherubim into them. Each sheet was exactly the same size, forty-two feet long and six feet wide. Five of these sheets were joined together to make one set, and a second set was made of the other five. Fifty blue loops were placed along the edge of the last sheet in each set. The fifty loops along the edge of the first set of sheets matched the loops along the edge of the second set. Then fifty gold clasps were made to connect the loops on the edge of each set. Thus the tabernacle was joined together in one piece. Above the tabernacle a roof covering was made from eleven sheets of cloth made from goat hair. Each sheet was exactly the same size, forty-five feet long and six feet wide. The craftsmen joined five of these sheets together to make one set, and the six remaining sheets were joined to make a second set. Then they made fifty loops along the edge of the last sheet in each set. They also made fifty small bronze clasps to couple the loops, so the two sets of sheets were firmly attached to each other. In this way, the roof covering was joined together in one piece. Then they made two layers for the roof covering. The first was made of tanned ram skins, and the second was made of fine goatskin leather. For the framework of the tabernacle they made frames of acacia wood standing on end. Each frame was fifteen feet high and two and a quarter feet wide. There were two pegs on each frame so they could be joined to the next frame. All the frames were made this way. They made twenty frames to support the south side, along with forty silver bases, two for each frame. They also made twenty frames for the north side of the tabernacle, along with the forty silver bases, two for each frame. The west side of the tabernacle, which was its rear, was made from six frames, plus an extra frame at each corner. These corner frames were connected at the bottom and firmly attached at the top with a single ring, forming a single unit from top to bottom. They made two of these, one for each rear corner. So for the west side they made a total of eight frames, along with sixteen silver bases, two for each frame. Then they made five crossbars from acacia wood to tie the frames on the south side together. They made another five for the north side, and five for the west side. The middle crossbar of the five was halfway up the frames, along each side running from one end to the other. The frames and crossbars were all overlaid with gold. The rings used to hold the crossbars were made of pure gold. The inner curtain was made of fine linen cloth, and cherubim were skillfully embroidered into it with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. This curtain was then attached to four gold hooks set into four posts of acacia wood. The posts were overlaid with gold and set into four silver bases. Then they made another curtain for the entrance to the sacred tent. It was made of fine linen cloth and embroidered with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. This curtain was connected by five hooks to five posts. The posts, with their decorated tops and bands, were overlaid with gold. The five bases were molded from bronze.